r slash r scredit by redmond detes serious what's something that a friend or classmate did in high school that was seen as funny at the time but you now realize was actually not okay living in the netherlands classmate was showing on his phone a whole online shop he claimed to have with all kinds of drugs and weapons we thought it was funny because we didn't take it too serious he dropped out of school early and turned out to be a big drug dealer well we could have known i guess my friend faked her own kidnapping it was all fun and games until the police started chasing her kidnappers van when i was in middle school some kids spiked our family and consumer sciences teachers chili with sleeping pills i'm pretty sure someone told so she never ate it but that could have ended really badly Diabetic classmate using his stabby blood glucose monitor on everyone's leg, with the same blade for everyone. As an adult I realize why the teachers and school hit the effing roof. Edit. The amount of people asking why it's bad. The same needle is being used, entering the bloodstream, of dozens of students, one of which may or could have had a dangerous and transmittable disease or virus. All needles and sharps are one use only, don't share guys in my year went through a phase of brutally wedgie eyeing each other with the aim to fully rip the underwear off. Once guys ripped boxes got pinned on the notice board complete with skid marks and blood stains. Seemed hilarious at the time but I die inside a little at the memory. Blood stains. That is not good. When I was a junior in high school I broke my thumb and was given a flesh colored plastic cast that fit over the thumb. Unfortunately, it really looked phallic it was a joke with my friends for a while dong hands because it could be easily removed one of my friends asked to see it and then shoved the cast down his pants and through his front zipper and i swear to god he flashed one of the lunch ladies with it she literally screamed and ran back into the lunch room and within about 10 seconds four male teachers come tearing out of the lunch room and violently grab my friend and drag him to the principal's office while screaming what the f is wrong with you to be honest, we all laughed in the holy crap, did that just happen kind of way. About 15 minutes later I got called into the principal's office, essentially to corroborate this kid's story that it wasn't his real dong, but this stupid plastic cast I had on my thumb. My friend got expelled and they were going to suspend me until I told the principal something like, did I think that this kid was going to shove my cast down his pants and flash a lunch lady? No. I thought he just wanted to see the damn thing. I got the be careful who you are friends with speech and let go. I'm pretty sure the lunch lady quit. Just a quick edit. A lot of people are saying that the kid shouldn't be expelled. I'll just say the 17 year old boy should not be whipping their dongs out at old ladies, regardless of whether the dongs are fake or not. In the 5th grade, we had a random urinal and sink pooper. This kid would poo in the sinks and urinals in a couple of the boys bathrooms for a few weeks. It got so bad that the staff and teachers had to take kids in groups at pre-designated times to go use the bathrooms, while they waited outside. The kid was in my class, and got caught, because he was in my class and decided to poo in a urinal while in this group setting. He laughed hysterically the whole time, and thought we would all think it was funny. I mean we did think it was funny. But, it was annoying we had to go in groups. He got suspended for a bit because of that, and then those incidents never happened again. We had a kid that would say just really messed up stuff. Well one day he said old enough to pee old enough for me and we all laughed like bro that's gross wtf lol. Well fast forward about 8 months after graduation and boom. Arrested for child naughty. Harassing and mocking the teachers. One of them even got a nervous breakdown because of it and was on sick leave for half a year. We had a goss pit in our school. Which was a pit in the ground with steps leading down, that had no clear function. So the culture in the school would be to grasp someone's back sack and throw it down the pit. Once the kid went to get the bag, someone would shout goss pit. Everyone would run over and spit on the kid continuously until he managed to get up the stairs. I remember even teachers laughing at this 90s were a strange time. Almost all the harmless fun I can remember from my school is actually horrific. 
had a classmate that used to steal this one kid's clothes during gym and replace it with something else. It started out with stupid t-shirt but grew to girls clothes like dresses and panties. Eventually it was bad and he'd leave him like a really short skirt sometimes a diaper and baby stuff. Everyone thought it was funny but it was really terrible. I think one of the more messed up things was the teachers were almost in on it. Like they wouldn't do anything about it, just lean into it. That pisses me off the most. Kids are stupid can account for about 10% of why the kid would do that, but teachers leaning into it or even just allowing it? There's no excuse for that. We had a teacher in middle school that served in a war. I can't remember which war, but he saw some combat and it had affected him. Some of our more arsehole classmates thought it was hilarious to bring snaps to school. Like the ones you get on the 4th of July that look like a fat sperm and you throw down on the ground to make a snapping sound. Every time that poor man turned around, they would start throwing those snaps because sometimes, not always, but sometimes he would go nearly full blown flashback and hide, nearly crying under his desk from enemy fire. Some of our classmates, including the ones who did it, thought it was hilarious and no one would stand up to them cause those kids were the real, white trash, country bumpkin sort of terrors that would seriously hurt you if you crossed them. The principal didn't really do anything about it other than urging the teacher to retire. Was painful to watch. Edit, because people keep asking, this was in North Dakota back in the 90s. And I would guess he served in Vietnam. But he just referred to it as the war on the few occasions he actually spoke about anything. I never thought it was funny but a lot of classmates did. There was this one kid that would make fun of a weird girl for both of her parents dying in a car accident. Lots of people laughed and I still think about it 16 years later. The more popular guys in my class made a ranking list of the hottest girls in our grade level. It ended up getting leaked. Found out a bit later the girl who was ranked dead last spent a few hours crying by herself in the bathroom. In high school we had a Japanese language class, and one of the teachers was actually from Japan. He had an accent, and the kids would try to get him to say parallelogram as a joke. As an adult, I realize how messed up that is to make fun of someone for their accent. But, the teacher caught on and would just say parallelogram in Japanese. Few messed up kids in my primary school lit a teacher's car on fire, just because she gave one of them failing grade on midterm. It wasn't one of the mean teachers, she was mostly nice to students. Cops got involved but don't think they got punished accordingly, I know one of them was in and out of juvie already, and were all around 13-14 years old, one was even in Nazi stuff. I know later on those kids got all tangled in dealing and robberies, probably all went to jail at some point dead baby jokes. My friends and I had dozens of them that we would rapid fire back and forth. It was hilarious, until we made one during English class and our teacher left the room crying. Turns out she had recently had a miscarriage. We all felt like gigantic buttholes and apologized profusely. At safe grad a guy got handsy with a girl in a tent who was not interested. We all started calling him busy hands name, and we thought that was hilarious. It is, of course, sexual assault, and thinking it's funny was also on us. Pantsing somebody in front of everybody. Is that even allowed anymore? That was so commonplace as a kid. Wearing a mirror on your shoes to look up skirts. Even teachers thought it was funny that students occasionally did that. Putting eye drops in the teacher's coffee. They get sick as a dog. Pranks become felonies the day you turn 18. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening. Kitos.